Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create uh, or how quickly you can create a festival based event listing theme uh, with WP Event Manager and its event listing theme itself in your WordPress website. Okay, so this is going to be really easy, really simple, and really quick. Let me show you how. So before getting started, make sure you have installed the event listing theme itself. I have provided you with a guide in this YouTube channel. I'll leave the link in the video description if you would want so. And you make sure you have installed the WP Event Manager plugin and it's add-on, whatever you need to get started. And apart from that, you will need two extra things. So let me show you what you will need. Uh, let's go to plugin and then add new. And when you add the page over here, you're gonna search for one click demo import so i have already installed the plugin but let me show you which one it is so in the first item over here that's the plugin you need you can click on install then click on activate to install and activate this plugin over here uh, when you are done the second plugin we need is elementor if you don't know what elementor is elementor is a drag and drop website builder that you can install freely from uh, this uh, plugin repository itself but if you know what Elementor is, great. You are an experienced user. Uh, free version will work. But if you have Pro version, that's even better. Okay. So when you have gathered all the requirements, or uh, installed all the required plugins and the theme, uh, make sure your event listing theme is up to date. We have released a recent update to it. So make sure it's uh, updated. Uh, when you are done, all you have to do is go to Appearance, then Import Demo Data. Okay, over here you'll be able to see the event listing theme is indeed activated. And if you scroll down a little bit, uh, like further below, you'll be able to see different different demos or like child themes that we have prepared are listed over here. So every single single of these uh, demo uh, themes over here, all child themes over here, are importable via one click. Okay, so for this demonstration, we're gonna use the festival version. If you want to take a look at the theme yourself in action or like in a fully fledged site, feel free to click on this preview demo. It will take you to our demo site where you can check out the theme in its full glory. But how to get started with the theme on your own? That's pretty simple. All you have to do is click on import demo. Okay, it's gonna take you to an uh, pre requesting check uh, page or pre flight check page, if you would say. Uh, required plugins are already installed WP Event Manager and Elementor. That's what we uh, instructed before starting the video. Um, over here, you'll find some star labeled uh, add ons or like plugins that you do not require or need, but these are like suggestions. If you want, you can uh, like check these check boxes over here and it will get installed in process of uh, the import. So when you're done over here, you can click on continue and import and sit back and relax. It's gonna import everything that's required, uh, like some sample events, uh, the entire style sheet and the home page layout, everything gonna get imported uh, automatically over here, okay? So now we can visit the site. After importing the data, we have two steps to follow. You can say like this is a post installation uh, steps. Okay, so let's go there and I'm going to show you what uh, we need to do. So over here on the home page, uh, the home page layout will be set to uh, content default. Okay, so so this is not the ITL template for this home page layout. Okay, it's pretty easy to fix. All you have to do is go on edit page and from the template section on the sidebar, you can switch to Elementor full width. Okay, so this will be available in Gutenberg and in uh, a classic editor if you would like so. That's pretty simple, right? So when you have selected Elementor full width, you can click on update and that's it. Let's open our website in a tab and we will see how the page looks like, right? So that's it. that's how simple it is to fix that. And the second thing is uh, the menu. Of course, when importing demo uh, events or like demo uh, data, uh, the menu always gets messed up. So you will have to rearrange or recreate your menu once more. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me show you how you can do that and in that, uh, chance I'm just gonna show you like a little bit of the customization that we have available for the event listing theme. So click on customize, all right, and over here you'll be able to find the menu section. Uh, the possible two menu locations are the main menu or the primary menu and the social menu. The social menu will appear in the photo section if you have uh, assigned one, and if you have enabled the top bar, I'm gonna show you how you can do that actually. Uh, in the top bar, the social menu will appear. All right, so. Create a new menu if you would like or take an existing menu, rearrange the items or remove them if you don't need and then set it to primary to uh, show that over here or like assign it to primary, all right? So the main menu will get adjusted like that. So this is not a perfect example, but just a demo. So let's take a look at the other options we have. Site identity, 
the WordPress default boarding site identity stuff over here. I don't think this requires explanation. And then theme options over here, we have some little bit tweakings if you would like. So uh, feel free to do that. So header settings here, we can create the top part over here that I was talking about. So if you put down a mail address over here, okay. And if I put down a mobile number over here, you will see a top bar will appear just above the main menu section or the header section over here. See, you don't have to use both. You can use either of the email or phone number, or you can even use both of them. So that's up to you. And if we have a social menu assigned to your uh, web website, the social menu will appear just over here. Uh, if you have selected uh, like show social icons with the icons itself. So yeah, the, by default, it won't be showing the icons for the social media, the respective social media. Uh, if you turn on this option, it will show with social media. Feel free to experiment if you would like. I'm not going to uh, turn that on since I do not have a social menu right now. So show search icons. If you want to uh, show like a search icon right here, uh, I can show you this. So if I check this on, you will find like a search icon will be appearing in the menu section over here in the right, right? So that's pretty easy. And then we have footer settings. So you can, of course, customize the copyright text to your own over here. And you can also customize your uh, column layout over here in the footer section. So four options are there. You can choose from one column, two column, three column, four column, whatever you suit, you can choose and modify. Okay. Then we have site layout settings. So by default, it's using the full layout uh, structure or uh, like styling, if you would say. Uh, the two possible options are full width or boxed width. Uh, so you can choose any of them. And then we have the sidebar settings. So by default, it will be set to no sidebar. Your pages won't show sidebar unless they are specifically told to from the page editor. Um, by default, there will be uh, no sidebar. And if you want to show sidebar, you have two options, whether uh, to show on left or right that you can select from here. And the next one, we have the mobile uh, side of view a little bit of like in terms of responsiveness. So in a page where we have a sidebar, if you have a sidebar, you have the option to like, either show the sidebar at the top uh, or at the top portion of the page or at the bottom portion. So what that means, if you select content first, the content will appear at the top just above the sidebar. And if you select sidebar first, sidebar will appear at the top, content is below that. All right, that's pretty simple. So whatever you feel like, you can choose from here. So let's take a look at the next section, the typography option, I'm not gonna go inside, but here you can select your fonts, your font styles, uh, everything is available there related to typography. Pretty boring stuff. Um, then colors, obviously you can select out like your primary colors, secondary colors, every kind of colors that you will like, uh, you can select from here, uh, that will be instantly available in your website. So sometimes what happens, like you like the template, but you don't like the colors, maybe, they don't match with your branding. So that's pretty easy to solve. You can select your colors from here and they will take effect in your website entirely. All right. So next we have header image. You can select a header image from here. That's pretty simple. Then background image from here and then menus. I have already explained. Then widgets. You can set widgets from here to sidebar, to footer, uh, like columns over here as well. And then we have homepage settings, WordPress default. Uh, you can like customize your homepage settings over here, either select a homepage or like show your latest post if you would like. Um, then we have WooCommerce. So over here you will have some little bit of configurability about or like regarding WooCommerce. You can turn on a store notice global wide. Um, you can change your product catalog settings from here. You can change your product email settings from here. You can change certain checkout related settings from here as well. All right. So let's go back and the last but not least option is additional CSS. Over here you can define global CSS and Right here, as you can see, uh, this is the actual like theme CSS uh, that is defined over here. So this is the actual theme CSS that is uh, like actually making changes to the website. So nothing is hard coded, nothing uh, is like you cannot modify. If you want to modify something about it, you need to don't need to overwrite, you can just change it from here. Uh, the entire CSS is right over here. So you can do that, all right? And again, you can, of course, override global CSS. Uh, if you want to like anything to the side, you can type below this line over here, 824, and that will take changes immediately. All right. So if you want to, like this, reset to your parent theme or to even listings, primary color scheme or the default color scheme, default appearance, you can do that as well. Just get rid of this CSS over here or 
pretty soon we're gonna launch a reset button over here that will give you access uh, to one click reset like one button you click it and everything resets back to normal okay so yeah when you are done making changes to this page you can click on publish and it will publish the changes and you are good to go so i'm going to close this customizer and i'm going to show you how to actually make changes to the home page layout itself pretty simple all you have to do is click on edit with elementor and it will load an editor ui over here any uh, any person who is even not a coder can edit this template with elementor this is a drag and drop and click on edit editor or like site designer over here you can click on anything that you will like to uh, change or redesign or edit or modify you can do that if you want to add something that's even possible choose from the vast majority items over here that's available or you can even delete something that you don't like so just click on edit or drag and drop build imagine uh, totally on you Whenever you are done at making changes, make sure you click on this update button over here. Otherwise, your effort will be uh, wasted. So yeah, make sure to update your page before you quit this page when you have made changes. And then it will take effect immediately on your website. So that's pretty much wraps this video up. I hope you enjoyed watching it and learned something new. Uh, let me know in the comment if you have any kind of questions, queries, uh, like suggestions even. Uh, I'll be sure to reach you out in there. And until next time, I'm Shara saying goodbye. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.